How you doing Kelly Crowd? It's been a minute since I've done an update on the absolute bane of my life, handstands. And there is a reason for that. And that reason is that there hasn't been that much progress to talk about until recently. In my last handstand vlog, I spoke about the change of strategy for me learning the handstand and how instead of the kick up, my entry into the handstand would mainly be from a frog stand, which requires a lot more strength, but I feel will set me up to be far better and controlled in my overall handstand. What that meant was I needed to dial up work on two things. My frog stand, which is pretty decent if I do say so myself, and my chest to wall handstand and getting that more straight. But it also meant that I needed to work on some other things, but rather than tell you, I'm gonna show you. actually one of those weird ones because unlike with the muscle up or when I was learning how to else it, you can't brute force the method. I'd actually probably suggest that brute forcing a handstand is detrimental because the handstand requires a sort of meditation mindset. Part of the reason I love it so much. So as I mentioned, to work on my frog to handstand, I've had to work on some new things. The first of those new things is really learning how to tuck handstand. The main reason for this is it is a good midpoint from the frog stand to an actual tall straight handstand, but also it's helping me open up my shoulders and get to a better handstand anyway. So even if I wasn't doing a frog to handstand, I should probably be doing this drill regardless. As you can see, a lot of work left to do on those. I'm new to it, but you know what? Progress has to start from somewhere. But the tuck handstand has actually been allowing me to work on the other thing that I need in order to transition from a frog's hand to a handstand, and that is working on the transition itself. So being able to leverage myself, rotate myself while being upside down, and get from a frog stand to that tuck handstand into a handstand. I've only recently got to a point where transitioning from a frog stand into some sort of bastardized wall supported handstand has started to become a common thing that I can do regularly. What you just saw is me on a little bit of an off day. I'll post a video here of me doing a standard frog to handstand. This is probably actually me on a pretty decent handstand day. What you'll tend to find is that handstand practice, sometimes you're up here, sometimes you're down here. Today seems to be one of those sort of days. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these sort of videos really honest with you. Handstand has definitely been one of the hardest skills I've learned so far. Um, I'm gonna keep it going. Honestly, it doesn't really look like 2020 handstand is gonna happen. There's still a month and a half left, so I'm gonna keep it going and I'll let you know how it goes. Peace.